It's time for college. Hi guys, so for today's vlog, I will be going to have my first college interview on which I applied to many colleges entrance exams. So for today, I'm just preparing for my first college interview on which I'm getting nervous at the moment because, yeah, that's what I said, it was my first time. So I'm not, I don't really know what's going to happen. Or what questions they will give me. After I ate my breakfast, I proceeded to brush my teeth because I'll be facing an interviewer and that's the best thing to do to brush your teeth before we like speak to other people so that we don't get a negative feedback from them. It's really relevant to be, you know, the hygiene first before anything else. So now I start my makeup by applying a lip balm. I already put a sunscreen beforehand and this whole makeup that ready with me was supposed to be an ASMR at first but now I decided to put on a voiceover and tell a story time about the process I went through. <laughs> So let's start from the beginning. We are graduating students and everyone was preparing for it. We are still facing our final defense, our work immersion, and other pending projects the teachers gave us on different subjects. We are also rehearsing our graduation march at that month. And that's when college admissions opened up. And I applied in two major state universities here in my hometown, which everyone like the graduating students are aiming to get in. The registration process was the crucial one because the site or the link cannot be uh, reached at the moment because everyone was like accessing it and it has it was having an error. I'm thankful for that one friend who lent me his email so that I can register. Ever since I stepped into senior high school, the course that I'm willing to take was psychology. Ever since then, when the teacher asked what course I'll be taking, I'll say that I'll take the psychology course because it was so interesting for me and I never really planned on changing at that time. So when the qualifying exam came, I really put psychology on the preferred course on the paper and then we get to answer a lot of different terms that were different from what I get used to. And on the second state university that I applied to, I decided to take an education course because the work immersion helped me to be able to identify that half of me wanted to become a teacher one day. I have been fond of my little cousins and at that time I wanted to take up the elementary education. And for the next step, I got accepted in both of the state universities. But then I can't pursue psychology and since then my friends wanted it. I have thought that I lost all my interest on that course in pursuing it because it takes some time to be a professional on that field and it takes a lot of courage and financial uh, dependent. And because I belong to the non-board qualifiers, I cannot fully pursue the psychology course and then I decided to choose the English language course. Fast forward for the get ready with me, this is the time where I'll be interviewing on the other state university on which I took the elementary education course. And because I was still undecided at that moment, I wanted to pursue the secondary education major in English. But I still grabbed the chance because I wanted to have an experience in having an interview so that for other schools that I will be applying to, I have a, a little background on how to answer and how to act in front of the interviewer. Then I commuted to the state university. It was a two-ride jeepney and it was probably traffic at that time. So I arrived in quarter to 10 a.m. and the line was so long, I can tell it. So my advice is that whenever you have an interview or something, don't be late. Just go to the venue an hour or a minute before your interview because the line will exhaust you. It will really tire you. So I was just bored all the time and everyone I that I'm with, we are given an hour break to have a lunch, but I decided not to have because out of nervousness, I don't think I could eat at that moment. I told myself that I'll just get a lunch after this interview. So it took another more hours until I get to have my interview. I was holding the clear plastic envelope the whole time and I get to like chat on our GC and where my friends were like telling humors or making me laugh to not be bored at the moment. 
and I told them also the process, like the line was so long that they should not go late on an interview. And when my time came, I get to have a one-on-one -on -one interview on a teacher. And then I just told what I wanted, why I choose the Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. It was supposed to be an elementary education. But then, on the results, I, I never thought it was that complicated because I applied for the English major. But then the results came out, I qualified to be an, an elementary education course, so I was so undecided. And on the day on the other state university, I didn't know there was still an exam before we get to the proper interview. So, like, I've been also a fan of English language and everything because I'm a reader, I like to read. So it's like an advantage on me on that course on the Bachelor of Arts in English Language. So I wanted to improve myself on that. That's why I, I wanted to apply that course. So I just got home. And the interview was so long because the line is so long. But the interview is just fast. Like they were like asking me questions related to me the course that you're taking so the only part where I get very really bored was the line so long just sit there and wait I don't know but I just got mental block earlier I just answered and answered I have questions that have drawn on me it was in English so I had to answer in English and yeah I almost forgot what I said I just remembered a few so I just hope, or maybe not, if I get such a already an experience that I get to have the interview for free. I did it paid in a amount. So I just took that out as a lesson and an experience. So I'm not really good in public speaking, I'm not good in talking to people one on one. So an interview is a really must so that I can improve what I want most. I just uh, haven't eaten my lunch on the right time. So when I got home, to I got to the fast food restaurant where I bought a meal and just eat it alone. And then I go to a grocery store to buy my errands. And then I get to go and buy my food and watch it. For the following months, my mom told me to apply scholarships to private universities and that's also what I wanted and since I wanted to like have a college life where I'm comfortable, where I get to meet new people, new faces and I inquired to different private universities here. What really excites me the most and every school year was buying school supplies. I can reuse my senior high school bags and my black shoes because it's still function and it, it's still not worn out so it's really helpful for that I'll be using it on my college days. This will be quite a challenge for me since I'm used to having a school near our home and I used to walk to school every day and now that I'm in college I'll be commuting every day and, and people I know that are college they say that the commuting was very exhausting since it's so traffic so look what I'm trying to do. I'm putting on makeup even if I'm just staying at home and that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!